In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most underrated coverage schemes for Trips Tight End, how you can utilize this defense with a couple of right adjustments to make this play absolutely lethal against Trips Tight End's style of formations. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I also wanted to ask you that if you've not joined our Patreon yet, to consider doing that. And the reason why is because I think it's going to help you become a better Madden player. Um, we released, uh, we've got 15 offensive and defensive ebooks available at our Patreon. You get access to all of that by just signing up today for just $10. So literally it's one stop shop. You get everything that you need for the game. Um, we've got offenses, defenses, we got updates, we've got pro player breakdowns. We pretty much release new content in the Patreon uh, almost every single, uh, or we release it every single week, probably every one or two days as we're kind of working through things. So again, if you want to get access to all that, anytime we release a new ebook, you get that as well by joining the Patreon. So if you've not joined it yet, again, super cheap, 10 bucks. And uh, it just gets you access to everything. There's also a private messaging platform in there as well that you can take advantage of. Now, I wanted to do a, a quick breakdown on a coverage that I love um, out of the nickel triple. And the more that I think about the nickel triple, the more that I come back to it. We've got a full ebook on it in the Patreon. We've actually got, we're actually working right now on a revamped version of the defense because I truly believe it's that good. I really do. Um, it's just, it, it's, it's super well equipped to be able to defend um, pretty much anything that the offense is going to throw your way. It's very good against the run. It's got great pressure. It's got different types of coverages. And we're going to talk about the, my favorite one in this formation. And honestly, what's starting to become my favorite coverage in Madden, and that is the quarter-quarter halves coverage or the cover six and uh, out of the nickel triple. This is also found in the 245 odd. We also have a defensive guide on that as well. Both of these formations can be found in the Chicago Bears defensive playbook, which is what I would argue is the best defense in Madden 22. Now, nickel triple cover six. Let's show you how to run this against trips tight end. Part of the draw to me as to why I really like this coverage against trips tight end is because if I were to, uh, if I were to, for example, just call, um, you know, one of the most popular trips tight end concepts, which is this right here, you're gonna notice with no adjustments whatsoever, I'm gonna stop this. You're gonna see right here the slant gets covered. I get great sheds because it's nickel triple, and notice how Ramsey will just lurk the tight end. Now, if you look at, if you kind of pause for just a second and look at the zone that Ramsey is on, you're gonna notice that he is on a three rec hook defender now something that i've talked about here before on the channel is that we can actually create a three rec hook zone by utilizing a bluff blitz assignment what's also really cool about that is it allows us to not mess with the integrity of our pass rush meaning a bluff blitzer is actually almost the same as having a blitzer what i mean by that is you're going to be able to create mismatches across your defensive line for example von miller will get a one-on-one -on -one, and then this outside defensive end floyd will get a one-on-one -on -one as well if i bluff blitz either one of these two guys or if i bluff blitz von miller for example so uh, what i'm gonna do here uh, just for the sake of the video here, we're going to put Aaron Donald in a bluff blitz assignment. You're going to notice that that turns him, my play art is glitched, but you see right there, it turns him into a three rec hook defender. Now all I'm going to do is just pass commit. I'm going to run the same exact route combination. I want, to, I want you to see uh, how this defends that. So you're going to see right here, um, we get great sheds. Notice where's Aaron Donald? He's in the same spot that Jalen Ramsey was. Now where this can be a little bit problematic, however, is in a route combination that kind of looks something like this. What you're gonna notice in a route combination looks like this is that three rec hook defender actually won't be able to guard the crosser. In fact, pretty much nothing can. If you actually think about it, um, in match coverage, match coverage typically uh, struggles significantly with a crosser. I'm gonna show it to you one more time. You're gonna see Mike Evans just get absolutely open on the sideline. Okay, so that takes me to my second point. And if you take a look here at Nickel Triple, you're going to notice it's actually going to align this formation in a man alignment setting. Typically, Jalen Ramsey would actually be over on the right side. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So let's say, for example, that we were to take uh, the triangle receiver 
uh, Johnson, and we're going to motion him on a slant, and we're going to do something like this, if you will. Well, what you're going to notice is Jalen Ramsey is actually going to move uh, to that side, and then now you see that the coverage is, you know, a little bit, it's the same coverage, but they're just in better um, or in different alignment, okay? So with that in mind, uh, what I want to propose to you as far as a solution to what makes trips tight in so good is that combination. And then also this one, specifically against match defense, is this doubles in sale. You just streak this guy right here, and oftentimes this guy will get open on the sideline. Now, what I want you to do with this, though, is we can kind of, again, hedge our bet. And the way we're going to do that, we're going to go ahead and press coverage. Um, if you want to show blitz, you certainly can. Uh, so let's say we want to show blitz, and we can actually bring this safety on the edge if we want to send some pressure. We certainly can do that. Um, we're going to use her this guy uh, right here. So you might want to bring this guy down. But we're going to use her this guy who's in a vertical hook. And when we, if we motion into the 2x2 um, two two look, what's going to happen is he's going to become a 3 rec hook defender, which makes it perfect for about what I'm about to suggest you to do. And that is to take... The defensive lineman um, on the left side of the screen, whether it be Von Miller or Aaron Donald here, either one of these two, and you can sub in a linebacker, you can do whatever to get a better coverage guy in there. Honestly, trust me in this, you don't actually have to have that great of a coverage player. He will react very well within the coverage, and I'll show you that in just a second. But you're going to put him in a bluff blitz assignment. And then lastly, what you're going to do is you're going to man up your um, your corner which in this case is Jalen Ramsey, you're going to man him up onto Mike Evans. Now, if they motion, you might check into a different coverage, right? Maybe cover three match or whatever it might be, right? But in this scenario, you're going to see here against this combination or the one that I just showed you, you're going to run it like this. And you see this is what the defense looks like. I'm going to use it here. Obviously, I'm going to kind of help on the slant, um, but it's not super important. And it gives me a lot of freedom really as a user. And obviously, you want to pass commit here. But what you're going to notice is this bluff blitz is going to literally lurk the crap out of that tight end. And notice how he's right in the area to make a play on the ball. Now, in Mutt, when you can put a lurker ability on that player, or for example, Von Miller, you could put a lurker ability on, you're going to find just as much, uh, you're, you're going to find significantly more success with this. But the beauty of this is now you don't have to really worry about the tight end crossing route in your defense. If you want to, like I said, Micah Parsons, for example, he'll play this really, really well. Um, DeMarcus Ware will play it. Heck, Randy Gregory will react. I'm just telling you, you can click on the player because it's a pick every single time. And what you're going to see now is now we've got perfect coverage on the tight end, but we don't just have good coverage on the tight end. We actually have press man coverage, which is one of the best ways to play defense this year uh, in terms of like just manning up a, a certain guy on this crosser and we have a user that can be able to be here and be available to help out with this coverage take a look at how this works here you see that three rec lurk the in route and we're just lurking on um, that guy carrying the crosser and then another popular concept for uh, from this formation would be to do something like this and we talked about this a little bit but basically it's a flood it's a flood to the to the uh, trip side here so you see this is what it kind of looks like and again, you're going to set it up exactly the same. We're going to bluff blitz. We're going to uh, man up on Evans. And then we're going to use right here. And when you get a concept that looks somewhat like this, now it's just a very, very good coverage across the board. you got a double team on that corner route. And if you got a good, a good corner there, you're going to find that you're going to be able to defend um, a lot of what they're going to want to do in terms of this defense. So this is why I love the triple because it adapts really, really well. Now let's say, for example, that you're facing uh, somebody that likes to utilize motion uh, out of this formation. And let's just say, uh, for sake of example here, they're going to do something that looks like this, if you will. Okay. Well, what we're going to do is whenever they run, uh, whenever they run a motion, okay, we're going to change a little bit of how this coverage is going to work. So what you're going to notice is we're still going to put that three rec out there. Uh, from the defensive tackle or bluff blitz we're gonna, still going to man this guy up but now they're going to send in motion and honestly it's actually a relatively simple adjustment as far as what we're going to do but whoever they motion we are simply going to man up this guy on uh, whoever they motion all right and honestly you don't even need to do that literally 
just, I mean, literally you could just, he's going to motion here. You're just going to hot route that, uh, that corner to a, uh, to a soft squat. Or you could even just reset your play, for example. And then you're going to see right here that now this motion concept is really not there. And you're still lurking in the middle. And obviously you're going to get really, really good sheds. So the fact is, the matter is, you know, if they do motion whatsoever, um, honestly, it's probably going to be a concept that looks somewhat like this. You'll get a lot of this kind of motion here um, where they're going to run a little flood concept like so. And if you get something that looks like that, you really don't need to change too much of your coverage because, again, he's motioning here, okay? So then all you need to do is just reset and then three rack. And that's pretty much it. And what you'll notice now is you've got a quarter flat. You've got a lot of help on this underneath stuff. And you're still playing really lockdown coverage. There's also um, a check that you could easily make if you wanted to out of the nickel triple and just audible to cover three match. But the point being, you're going to take away some of the primary ways that people like to beat this, uh, you know, this match defense. Let me give you another one, for example. We're going to put the tight end on an out route. We're going to put this guy on a, uh, a streak or whatever, and then we're going to do, I mean, we can just start, they'll literally just start doing random stuff. I'm just telling you from experience, like, they'll just start doing random stuff with this, and what you'll be able to do is, because of the way that we've we've structured this here, like, for example, you might get, like, a curl, you might get, like, a curl, and then you might get, like, a skinny post on the outside, so something like this. They're trying to basically glitch the match coverage, right? You're going to put them in a situation where they're going to have to try to do stuff like that, but remember your rules, remember your principles. You don't necessarily have to worry about the tight end. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you really don't have to worry about the number three receiver. So in a situation like this, I'm mainly just worrying about the deep post. And look at how fast the sheds are on a triple. Now again, I know Von Miller was activated, but the bottom line is you're gonna have great coverage on the tight end, great coverage on the number three receiver, and really you make them, what I like about cover six is you make them work through players that they are not used to utilizing. So this is a great little coverage out of the nickel triple. I'd encourage you to use this if you're defending trips tight end formations. This is a great, great defense. I can't stress enough how important that three rec hook defender is in this defense, especially when defending trips tight end. But this cover six just keeps coming up as probably one of the best coverages in this game. Um, as It's a match man zone type concept, but it also really does a great job of defending these three wide receiver sets. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to learn more about cover six or the nickel triple, you want to learn some pressures with this, with this concept, you want to learn uh, more about this match coverage, join our Patreon. For just $10 a month, you get access to everything. We've got 15 offensive and defensive guides over there, a ton of updates, exclusive tips, pro player breakdowns. If you want to sign up for that, head on down to the description of the video and click the link that I put down there below. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you want to check out the Patreon, head on down to the description below and click the link in the description.